Stl Ashen Squashetsot Potlatch Game. The Potlatch Game is a cooperative game for three to six players that abstractly simulates a shared economy, such as gift giving. The objective of the game is to work together, sharing resources, to ensure that all players' needs are met by the end of the game. Each big house card represents a human house that needs resources for everyone in their community to survive over time. This game utilizes Squahotmish Snaitchum and is based on the resources and locations that are culturally significant to the Squahotmish Ohomeo. The game consists of big house cards and resource cards. Each big house card has a number on it which represents the number of resources in each category that a big house needs. There are a total of eight big house cards, three three resource big houses, three four resource big houses, and two five resource big houses. There are four resource card categories. Blue represents teaching and learning, green represents gathered materials, yellow represents crafted technologies, red represents food and life giving. Each resource category has 16 cards valued at 1 through 4 for a total of 64 resource cards per deck. Rules. The first player in each round is required to give one card to another player. This card can be any resource and value so long as it is an unmet need. The first card of any round does not have to completely fulfill a player's unmet need. You can gift beyond a player's need. You cannot play a card if a need has been met. You cannot gift yourself. If a player is unable to gift a player for any reason, the gifting player can ask another player to help by combining resources. Gameplay continues until a single player has all their needs met. At this point, the end game begins. If all players are able to meet their needs, everyone wins. If any player is not able to meet their needs, everyone loses. Game setup. Separate the big house cards from the resource cards and shuffle them separately. Deal each player one big house card and put the rest back into the box. Deal each player six resource cards and place the remaining cards in the middle to become the draw pile. A person who is Squamish, Coast Salish, most recently participated in a potlatch, understands the protocols, played before, read the rules, or watched this presentation, goes first. Setting up the game. Each player is dealt one big house card and six resource cards. The rest of the resource cards are placed in the middle and become the draw pile. Starting the game. Since this is the first round of the game, player 1 can give any single card of any amount to another player. Looking at her cards, player 1 decides to gift the nettle, red 4 card, to player 2. Since the nettle is valued at 4, this sets the reciprocity level at 4. As the person who was gifted, it is now player 2's turn. He can either gift player 1 or player 3, and the gift must be at the reciprocity level of 4. Player 2 decides to reciprocate player 1 the spear, yellow 3, and feather, green 1 cards. This meets the reciprocity level. As the last person gifted, it is now player 1's turn. She must gift a player that has not been gifted in this round, so she gifts player 3 at the reciprocity level of 4. Player 1 gives player 3 the grass, green 4 card. When all players have received a gift, the round ends, even if not everyone has given a gift. All cards gifted are placed in storage and cannot be re-gifted. Draw cards from the draw pile to bring each player's hand back up to six cards. The last player gifted is the first player to begin the next round. Since player three was the last person gifted, they start the next round. The card obligation requirement drops back to one card and any resource value. Gameplay continues in this manner until someone has all of their needs met. Playing the game. Player 1 gifts Player 2 with the War Canoe, yellow 4, setting the reciprocity level at 4. Player 2 gifts Player 3 with Nettle, red 4. Player 3 gifts Player 1 with the Cooking Pot, yellow 2, and Pointed Ends, yellow 2. With everyone gifted, the round ends and the players draw from the draw pile to bring their hands back to 6 cards. Player 1 was the last person gifted, so they start the next round. Gameplay continues in the same manner. Combining resources. When a player cannot play a card for any reason, they can ask another player to combine resources. For example, player 2 needs to meet a reciprocity level of 4, but he only has the antler green 2 card. Player 2 asks if anyone is able to combine resources, and player 3 offers to help. Player 3 can play any single card so long as it meets an unmet need. It can be of any amount, including an overgift. Player 3 provides the Animal Hide Green 2 card, which, combined with Player 2's Antler card, meets the reciprocity level. 
In another example, player 2 needs to gift a yellow card, as that is the only unmet need, but they do not have any yellow cards. When asked to combine resources, player 3 provides the war canoe, yellow 4 card, meeting the unmet need. The person gifted is the next to take a turn. The end game. As soon as a player has their needs met, the end game begins. The player who has their needs met gives their cards to the player on their left. That player uses all the cards in their hand and tries to fulfill their unmet needs, and, if successful, passes the remaining cards to the next player. The end game immediately ends if any player is unable to meet their needs. Everyone loses. If every player can meet their needs, everybody wins. The end game. With player 3's needs met, the end game begins. Player 3 passes their cards to the person on their left, player 1. Player 1 uses the combined cards to meet their needs. Since they are successful, they pass the rest of the cards to the player on their left, player 2. Player 2 uses all the cards to try to meet their needs. Everyone wins! Player 1 filled their big house need of resource cards valuing 3 in each category. Player 2 filled their big house need of resource cards valuing 4 in each category. And Player 3 filled their big house need of resource cards valuing 5 in each category.